I had somebody make a suggestion that I talk about some disrespectful behaviors that uh, a lot of people ignore or they don't notice or they don't know that they should address. So I want to take a minute and talk about a couple of those and give you some reasons why these are disrespectful behaviors. This is Denali in this stall and we just fed lunch. So he's got his head in his bucket. And let's see what he does when I walk in here. So his head's still in his bucket. He really hasn't even acknowledged me. There we go. Now he acknowledged me, brought his head over to me. I'm gonna pet him. That is what I want to see. He even brought his head out of his bucket to meet me at the stall where I could put the halter on him. I expect every horse to meet me at the stall door to let me halter him. And he even did it to take, he even took his head out of his bucket to do it. That is a really big deal. And I'm walking away from, walking him away from his food. This is respectful behavior. As soon as I walked in the stall, I mean, he still wants to eat. I'm not gonna fault him for that. As soon as I walked him in the stall, he gave me what I wanna see. What I don't wanna see is if he would have pinned his ears when I walked in here. I don't wanna see a horse put their head in the back corner and leave their butt towards me. Let go of him and let him go back and eat. I don't want a horse to stay in the back corner when I open the door. If the horse stays back there and does not meet me at the door, I'm gonna put pressure on the hip with the lead rope and make it move. If there was a horse standing there, I would make it move, get him to turn his head to me. I want the horse to meet me at the stall door. Very important for setting a good uh, relationship with your horse that your horse is willing to do what you ask him to do. If you walk in the stall and horse's head is in the corner and he stays there, that horse is not willing to do anything you're gonna ask him to do. He meets you like Denali just did. He quit eating and met me here. You, I couldn't ask for better than that. Another thing I will not let a horse do, I will not let a horse rub on me. That is going to uh, create problems. It's gonna get you hurt possibly if they rub hard enough. But if he is rubbing on you, he is not respecting your personal space. I don't think he was trying to be malicious here I think he was trying to turn so he could get the food in the corner if the horse is rubbing on you he's not respecting your personal space you'll see me when I lunge a horse when I work a horse on a lunge line I want them to stop and face me but I want to close in that last horse length that last six feet I want to say I want to go into that horse's space I'm not going to ever bring the horse or almost never bring the horse into my space to my space this is my space bottle bubble, and I control this space bubble. If I want you in, I'm gonna go to you and put you in my space bubble. Now, if you come to dump feed, like in, our, in this situation, we have doors we open, we can dump feed over into the bucket and not even go into the stall. If you come to dump feed and that horse pins his ears at you and you dump the feed and you walk away, in that horse's mind, that horse just ran you off of his feed. You are higher in the pecking order. So if I dump feed to a horse and that horse has its ears pinned, I'm gonna send him back in the stall and not let him at that bucket until I get nice ears. You should be able to drive a horse off of their food bucket like that. He's not pinning his ears. He's not telling me to move. This is the expression that you want to see. Now I'll let him have his food back. That's what you should have. If you do not have that, if the horse is pinning his ears, if you walk in here and the horse raises his foot to kick at you or pins his ears, that's disrespectful behavior that you cannot let go. Okay, another disrespectful behavior that I see a lot and I see a lot of people ignore and in itself isn't too bad 
but it escalates into something worse. A horse that you're standing right here, and he takes this foot and steps toward you. And whatever he's doing, he could be looking over there and stepping towards you. That horse is testing his boundaries to see if he can push me out of his space. By taking that step forward, he's saying, I'm going to move my space bubble up here. What are you going to do about it? And if you let that foot step up there and push on your space bubble, he's challenging you. It seems really small, seems really insignificant, but that little thing leads to much worse things. Every time somebody says, I've got this huge problem and it just came out of nowhere, there was always little signs like that one step that came first and the person just missed it. Those little signs is what you need to be looking for. Just that one step coming to me, he's pushing into my space bubble if he was to do that. So that's just a, a couple, that's one more. Let's talk about standing at the mounting block. There's different ways that a horse can leave the mounting block if you go on to get on. If you step up on the mounting block and he goes forward, he's not letting you on. If you step on the mounting block and he backs up, he's not letting you on. If he, you step up on the mounting block and his feet stay still, but he swings his butt around, to me, that is the worst of the three because he's telling me that I'm not gonna put a lot of effort into not letting you on, but I know if I swing my hip around, you can't get on. To me, that is the most disrespectful of the three. That I'm gonna be a little harsher about fixing than one that steps forward or steps back. When I step up on the mounting block, I try to sit there for a couple of seconds before I ask the horse to move and at least 50% of the time, my first steps are backwards. If I have a horse that is wanting to move forward when I get on the mounting block, I'm gonna make sure my first steps are backwards. And that tends to help that front to back. But when they swing their butt away from you at the mounting block, that is just straight disrespect. And that is a thing that leads to worse things later. Like when you do get on, horse turn his head and biting your toe. Or you ask the horse to go and he kind of hops up in the back end threatening to buck. That one thing about swinging his butt away usually leads to those bigger things. So I'll, if, as I think of some more of these, I'll make another video and talk about it. If there's any things that your horse is doing that you're questioning, is this disrespectful or is it not? Put it in the comments below and uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can and I might take one and make a video out of it. So this is Denali. You've seen him in quite a few of the videos. Um, this is a uh, really nice horse. Uh, I'll put a link up here to his other, his playlist, his other videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.